This was probably the most used driver for stepper motors for a long time, especially for 3D printers and CNC machines. For example, remember the RAM controller board for CNCs or my GRBL PCBs that I've made for a previous project. Well, this is the A4988 stepper motor driver. But nowadays pretty much all 3D printers are trying to use the TMC drivers, at least for the X and Y axis, in order to lower the noise or even make the printer almost silent. So what is the difference between the well-known 84988 and the TMC drivers, such as the TMC2209 or the 2225? How do they work internally, how to control a stepper motor, and what is the sound level for each driver? That's what we will see in this video. So guys, let's get started. Hey guys, the 9th anniversary for PCBWay is coming, with special free coupons up to $200, special prices for older services, free modules and also sponsorship. Also for new users, the first order of 10 PCBs is free, so check the links below for all these special offers, and all the services for PCB prototyping, assembly, 3D printing or CNC milling and other services. As always, PCBWay offers perfect quality for PCBs fast manufacture time, very low prices, different colors, flexible PCBs, automatic assembly and much more, so order your parts right now and complete your cool project with some awesome PCBs. What's up my friends, welcome back. To understand the difference between the old 84988 and the new drivers that we have on the market, you have to know how a stepper motor works. Inside such a motor we have coils. Basically we have two coils, named A and B, but in this case we can see 8 coils, and that's because the A and the B coils are divided into 4 windings each, like this. So we apply some pulses at the driver, and this driver will apply the pulses at the motor, but in a sequence. So when the driver applies a pulse at the A coils, the magnet of the rotor, because it has polarity, it will follow the magnetic field, and rotate accordingly. And then the driver applies the pulses to the B coils, so the rotor magnet will make one more step. So as you can see, like this, the movement is very jumpy and it will vibrate a lot and create a lot of noise. And the shape of such a pulse is something like this, just a square wave. Instead of this we can micro step, meaning that we slowly pass from one coil to the other and this will make the movement smoother and the shape of the signal will be something like this. And if we micro step even more, the signal will be like this, and the vibration will get even less. So as you can see, the shape of the signal tends to be a sinusoidal wave, but is not yet a perfect sinusoidal signal, because that would be the perfect shape for such a control. But getting such a sinusoidal signal requires better and more expensive hardware. Ok, so now that we know the basics, let's check the signals on the oscilloscope and also compare the sound level and vibration. These are the connections that we make to the Arduino and the stepper motor. We start with the A4988 and this has these MS1, 2 and 3 pins. And according to this table we can adjust the micro stepping value by connecting VCC to these pins and going from a full step to 16 micro stepping. So using an Arduino, a potentiometer and a stepper motor connected at the driver, I start applying pulses first with the full step configuration. And this is the signal on the scope, a square wave. And this is the sound that it makes. Quite ugly, right? And this vibration gets amplified on the 3D printer frame for example, as you can see here with this metal bar. But now I activate the quarter step. And this is the sound difference between full step and quarter. And now the signal on the scope has more steps. But finally I activate the 16 steps. And look how the vibration sound changes. And 
and this is the signal now. We can clearly see some smaller steps, but this is yet not a perfect sinusoidal wave. So by increasing the micro-stepping, we gain torque and smoothness, but we lose speed. But even so, at full micro-stepping, the signal is still not a smooth sine wave. But on the other side we have the new technology of the TMC drivers, such as the TMC2209, 2208, the TMC2225 and the TMC5160. And the pinout of this module is similar to the A4988, so they are compatible for pretty much all 3D printers. So I connect my TMC driver to the Arduino and to the motor, and let's check the signals and the sound. The TMC driver also has microstepping, and according to this table we can get up to 64 microsteps. So this is the motor moving. So there is no sound coming from the motor, actually you will hear more the fan that we have inside of the oscilloscope than the motor even if I get really close. The movement is silent, we don't have vibration and so on. You can barely hear any sound, and the movement is so smooth. There is practically no vibration. So there is a significant improvement. And let's also check the signal on the scope. This is kind of a sine wave, but is made out of short pulses. And this is similar to what we have seen on the SPWM tutorials with Arduino. Creating short pulses and changing their width, we can get some smooth sinusoidal signals. As you can see, the width of the pulses is getting bigger and then smaller, and by that creating the SPWM. So it's quite clear that the new technology from Trinamic wins, and the stepper control is way better. That's why nowadays all 3D printers and CSE machines are trying to use these drivers. Let's also take a look at the TMC2209 datasheet. For example, these are the internal blocks, and the important one is this one here, the microstep sequencer, because this will create the SPWM signals which is then applied to the H-bridges that amplifies the power in order to apply it to the motor coils. So actually inside each coil output for A and B has an H-bridge, so a total of two H-bridges are needed. This driver for example could control up to 2.8 amps for each coil. It works with up to 29 volts DC, it has 64 micro steps and a very low internal resistance, so it won't heat up too much. It also has an optional UART interface, and some other drivers even have an I2C control. And the rest is compatible with the A4988 drivers for the enable, direction and step pins. So I hope that you now have a better idea of why the new TMC drivers are better, so consider using them with your projects. I don't actually have a genuine driver from Trinamic, and I bought all of my drivers from AliExpress, and they cost only a few dollars. For example, a pack of 5 drivers is around $16. And some stepper motors already have these stepper drivers installed on their body, so it will occupy less space, they even have an OLED screen or even an encoding sensor. So guys, I hope that you have learned something new and if so, consider giving me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it, and the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below, uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts, all this kind of stuff will support my channel, so thank you very much once again.